Welcome everybody, NHL action. We're talking once again today with Dana Lane, NHL analyst, and Dana had two picks last night and split them. One was a huge win, the other was a very, very tight battle. That brings Dana's record to seven and five, still two units up, and that's still profitable. I dropped my first game after All-Star break last night and should have heeded to Dana's advice on the puck line, but hey, that's why they play the game, and we'll just get back up and brush our knees off. Dana, first and foremost, nice to have you back with us. Very, very interesting game, this first one, the Rangers and the Penguins. These are two red-hot teams, and uh, I kind of like the dynamics here. I'm anxious to hear your breakdown and which team you think is going to get the big victory tonight. Well, it's tough not to continue to ride the hot streak of Sidney Crosby. I mean, uh, since Mike Sullivan took over, I mean, he has been a completely different player uh, since, the, since the 1st of January. Well, I'll even say this. And in the last five days, he's gone from ninth in the league to fifth in the league in scoring. Mm. And, and again, this is what without Malkin in the lineup. So this Pittsburgh Penguin team ha has flourished in the last 10 days. Uh, they put more pressure on opposing goaltenders than anybody else in the league. And I, I see that continuing tonight. You know, I like it also since Sullivan took over, and Crosby is on a tear. He's trying to get his um, eighth. If he gets a goal tonight, that'll be eight straight games. Of course, he's chasing the famous Penguin Mario Lemieux, who set the record at 11 in 1996. So interesting to see, but you certainly nailed it on the head. He has played exceptionally well since the coaching change, and this team is fun to watch right now, and they could be dangerous. They're 16-7-1 and one at home, so they like that home ice. I also like this play. I'm definitely jumping on this as an official pick as well. And here's what I like, Dana. I like the fact that Lundquist is starting his ninth straight game, all right, 20 out of the 20 out of the past 21 games he's played. I think he's starting to tire down a little bit. And obviously, you know, that's a lot of wear and tear. Any insight on the Rangers uh, possibly being tired? Yeah, I mean, I, I, hey, they did the same thing with Lundquist last year, too. I mean, and he he carried them pretty far. But, I mean, when you want to compare Lundqvist and, and Fleury, I mean, when when your offense is better, that makes your defense better. And, and that certainly has happened uh, in Pittsburgh's case. I'd love to see that kind of trickle down to Phil Kessel, which is still spinning his wheels a little bit. But, you know, the emergence of Sidney Crosby has certainly helped out of Chris Letang. Uh, those two have been dynamic on the line together. Uh, you know, to me, I'm going to ride them until I see them stop at a point where, where that will indicate that this is where it's going to end and this is who the Pittsburgh Penguins are. But yeah, if they get another win. I mean, they're going to they're going to get right into my top 10. Yeah, you know, that arena is going to be hopping tonight because those fans, they're very, very good fans out there in Pittsburgh, mm -hmm. and they are absolutely thrilled at what's been happening. Another interesting fact is that when Lundquist goes on the road, he's 9-11-2, 2.56 goals against average, so that is not too good. I think we're both on the right side. Okay, viewers, you heard it. Mike Brenner and Dana Lane both like the Penguins tonight. Bet Online has it at minus 130 on the money line. What are you looking at, Dana, as far as your money line? Uh, I got it at 135. I do feel, I see a few 130s, but mostly at 135. Uh, and, and I do see a couple 140s, so you might want to jump on that now. Okay, fantastic. Good advice. All right, viewers, catch the NHL ticket tonight with the Pittsburgh Penguins. They're going to get it done. Dana, thanks so much for being with us. We look forward to talking to you again real soon, my friend. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate it.